Hello and welcome! This is Mouse Gunner, and we're back with some more Stellaris. Now, there's some things I want to do right off the bat. First of which is I want to go to my sector here. And I think I want to set them up for a financial focus. As I think of the resources they have currently, it's going to be finances that they're going to be the shortest on from what I can see from here. So we'll have them emphasize that. We did give them some minerals so that they can uh, build things as they need it. And the other thing I want to look at is my contacts because I want to see how close we are to an alliance with these guys. We're currently improving relations. We still have a negative though because of new contact. Let's take a look though just how willing they would be at the moment. So right now their acceptance is at minus 15 but our attitude and opinion are good benefits as well as mutual rivals okay so hopefully we can invite these guys to the uh, alliance soon and then we're currently working on the ability to form a federation so if we can do that that'd be nice and we're also working on one of the last tutorial missions, which is uh, to build up Corvettes, which we're currently building. So, go ahead and start time up here. And we're also building a new colony ship. The idea is to colonize down here, to expand down into this part of space as far as we can. Which is about as, that's about as far as we can expand down there. We're going to have to create another sector... And I may give these two systems to that uh, sector. I kind of want to keep the systems that are up here. Kind of hard to say, honestly, what I want to do here. We do have some new colonies we may System benefit from. Complete. Out of curiosity, where is our current fleet? Okay, it's moving to get to where we're building the Corvettes. Okay. And the system survey is complete. So, do we want to survey over here? Or do we want to stop in our expansion in that direction? Because we do have a rival over here. I personally think we're starting to run out of things to survey. Oh, I am going to probably send the fleet down here to engage. So, I guess I should send the other science vessel down here. The free one. And we'll keep these guys up here surveying and collecting debris and all that. Alternatively, I could send the fleet up here. I think I could take the crystalline entities that are in uh, this uh, system. Debris analyzed. All right, so we got some debris. And this was... Uh, New. This was a new encounter, the crystalline entities. This is the first time we encountered them. So we get red crystal capacitors up 30% and regenerative hull tissue up 10%. Now that is a tech that I think we've gotten from other things. But let's take a look at our research right now. We've already started a uh, bunch of research projects. It's probably going to be a little while before we see them completed. So the question I have is, how are our planets doing for the most part? We want to upgrade our administration building at our home system as soon as possible. Now this system is there. Like this system isn't as key to me as some of our other systems. Construction complete. Do we have some construction completing that I'm going to have to check out here? That was... Oh, more than likely. I wish it would tell you in this pop-up what it was that they completed. Sometimes it's hard to remember when you're uh, coming back after, you know, 
a break what it is that you have recently built. All right, so we gained another one of the strategic resources. And currently... We're going to probably end up merging those guys together when we can. I'm just thinking we do have a number of energy credits available, but... Some of that will be taken up when we get the colony ship. So I think we start going for the science. I think we're getting a little bit behind where we need to be. And I think this uh, system here is a good candidate for that. So build research stations. And... I think that will probably be good for now. The one thing I'm trying to figure out here as we kind of go through things is what do I want to build? Construction complete. Good. We now have a small but capable space fleet that should serve us well in the event of any unexpected hostile encounters. All right. For these two fleets, I want to merge together. And their combined fleet strength will be at 1,200. So maybe this wouldn't be a good idea right now. I'm kind of keeping these aliens here as a buffer to any action up here. I just don't think we have the fleet strength yet to uh, attack. What am I working on as far as research? I do have some things for ship systems. Okay. And I think I did get the better reactors, so we'll probably be putting those in soon. So maybe we just wait a little bit with our fleet. The thing I was trying to figure out here, before we got interrupted, where do we want to build things? Debris so, analyzed. here is a good planet to put another Batharian reactor, and we could put it down here. Got another debris, which is more of the uh, red crystal capacitors, and then then that should be it for all the debris that we can collect. We could put a mining station here. Now, of course, we don't have the population to work all these things yet on this planet. Over here, we've got blockers that definitely need clearing. Speaking of blockers needing clearing, I think this is the planet that we have, the guy, yep, that gives us a discount. So let's start working on clearing if we're not going to be doing anything else. We might as well do the same thing on this uh, planet. So, let's grab some minerals. Clear that out. Over here, we're not currently working on anything. So, we like working... Alright, so we can upgrade this. Now, this is one of the systems that I was thinking about getting rid of. So do we, we want to upgrade this, or do we want to leave it up to the sector to do that? I think that's something I want to leave up to the sector. And if this is a colony we're getting rid of, then we want to focus on colonies we're going to keep. And this system over here, we're not currently working on anything. So why don't we clear this? Oop. And I think I want to save my influence, 
over here. The problem is I can build more Batharian reactors. But I... Don't really have... The population to work them right now. Like, here's a good example. I could put a, a Batharian reactor here. And maybe switch one of these buildings to a... Rather than a power plant, maybe to a power hub. Or we could keep our power production on this system. And that would make the power hub here even more powerful. And then we'd probably put it here. We just don't have the population yet. But I'll be patient nonetheless. And I guess I can uh, work on clearing a blocker here. But I'll, I'll wait. As I said, that is probably going to be turned over to a new sector. We might as well speed up time. So right now, we're kind of just mostly waiting for things to happen. All right, we are having even more energy resources come in, though. So here, I'm just going to finish off any mining stations that might be around. And then we'll probably take a break with that at that moment. And just kind of speed complete. things up even more. Okay, so we've got more construction over there. That was clearing a blocker. Well, because we continue to have this guy here, we'll just continue to clear blockers while we can. Construction complete. All right, over there, I think we cleared a blocker. Construction complete. All right. Good mineral resources here, but food is here. But I can't clear this one yet. I don't have the ability to. So we'll just be patient from here on out. And now, complete. I can afford to upgrade this, which we are going to do. So. He finished the construction project, at least one of them. Construction complete. Incoming transmission. Okay, we've got a bunch of stuff going on up here. So, join alliance request. And a rivalry. Alright, so we already rivaled them. That's not too surprising. We would like to join the great... Uh, this is our alliance. We can rename that. I don't even know how it came up with that name. All right. Well, we were going to ask you anyway, so agree. And then what do we got here? Um. All right, so... We are trying to invite them to the alliance. And what is their vote? Their vote is undecided, I guess? I'm going to vote yes. And we'll see how that goes. Alright. So. That's complete. Let's go to our contacts here. And. We see that they're now allied to us. Can we do anything well else with them? So, offer trade deal. We could probably do a research agreement. But uh, I'm happy with just having them as an ally right now. So, we're allied here and we're allied here. And these guys are rivals. The question is, can we do anything about that rival? Previously, we couldn't. Because the... Uh, Bothrians were had a non-aggression uh, pact, 
So that's these guys here. Communicate. Declare war. It says that we can. So if we click on this. <laughs> All right, they're saying that our physique is good for slavery, I guess. Here is something that you perhaps didn't know. All right, so we need to declare what the purpose of the conflict is. All right. All right, I spent a little bit of time familiarizing myself with this because this is uh, not all that straightforward. So what I do is I click and drag what I want, and I put it on who gets it. So if I want to vassalize, I put that there. But right now, both of my allies would vote no for this. So I probably would have to sweeten the pot. So I could grab seed a planet. So let's say we would give this system here, which would be this planet, to uh, these guys, the turtles, right? It's nearby them. They'd probably like that. Now they would vote yes. Now, I don't know if you need a unanimous vote for them uh, to go for the alliance to go to war or maybe the Bothrians wouldn't participate. But of course, we could sweeten the pot with them as well. Uh... And give them something. So we want to vassalize. So we don't want to weaken this empire too much. But let's say we decided to uh, liberate this system in here. Would they want that? They would. All right. So we would gain these two systems. If this is the war goals that we went for. Uh, we would get what was left over, uh, of the different systems. So there are two planets in this system, and there is one here. So we would vassalize that aspect of it. Uh, the planet here would become independent, and this planet would go to the turtles. That is the current war goal that we have set. I honestly don't know if I like weakening uh, these guys that much, but we would get three planets out of it. One planet would get liberated, and the other would get seated. You know what? I think I'm going to go with these war demands. And this war score is we need 100 to win, I take it. I wonder if we take something out. Was that ch Yes, that does change. So we have to totally defeat this empire for these war goals to work from what I gather here. But this is how we have to do it if we want our allies to vote yes. So I'm going to confirm. And... Okay. We're voting yes. And let's get our fleet nearby where they need to be to engage. And what is this? This is a colony ship. Oh, uh, I wonder how long that's been sitting there. Probably not that long, but uh, we'll send that along to the planet we want to colonize, which is this one. Oops. Not what I want to do. There we go. Colonize planet. And we'll drop this sucker... I bet you this would be one of the better places. We can't cut jungle right now. But we would get a bonus to here, here, and here. Alternatively, I could do here, but we'd only get a bonus up to here and there. I'll put it here. Okay. Hopefully, uh, the vote goes the way we want it to, but uh, we did set it up to kind of go that way. We also probably want to start working on some ground forces if we want to invade. Now, we're weak, so we will be at a disadvantage with that. Uh, let me uh, grab my home system. I'm not... This is where we manage all ground forces on this planet. The upper portion of this view is divided into three sections. The top section represents the orbital space above the planet. The middle section is the atmosphere, and the bottom section is the surface. Okay, so what we want 
is to recruit. Oh, we can do robot armies. How effective are they compared to ours? Much more effective. They have higher morale. They have the same amount of health. Maintenance is the same. But they do more damage and they uh, have more morale. So why not? We'll make robots. I guess that's <laughs> what those robots on our, our planets are good for. So I don't know how many of these we can actually build. I'm going to assume this is how many you could have. Because uh, we only have ones and there's several other slots. So we continue to get assault groups. Uh, I'm going to assume five might be okay for now. Hopefully that uh, works out for us. We're going to get our squadron up here to the front. And hopefully the vote passes. There we go. All right, so we've uh, passed the vote. I was going to check. How do you change the name of your... Alliance, because, uh... <laughs> I see where you have empires. Alright, so let's go to our empire here. And we have... We're at war there. Hmm. I'm not sure where you uh, rename it, but that's something maybe I'll find later. I mean, I see where it's listed. Oh, well, that's something I'll poke around with later. And the fleet is moving. And my science ship... Uh, this guy here. I'm going to send you into this system. Hopefully to collect any debris that show up. Are, they, are you guys fighting? I could have swore I saw a red. Hmm. Not sure what the little titles there mean. Maybe that just means that's a military fleet. Out of curiosity, is our... Yeah, okay, so that must just be military unit. Alright, so we're going to hopefully do well in this combat. We've got over 1,200 in strength. Now, we could have waited for... Alright, so one of our allied fleets jumped into the system. So we can actually get a look here at their fleet strength. So they've got about 400 that we see so far. Now, I am not going to have the goal of trying to wipe out a lot of their... Uh, possible, like... like research stations and things like that. I'm not going to destroy many of their resources. The goal being here to actually uh, just defeat them and vassalize them. I don't want to cripple them. System survey complete. Okay, we have a lot going on here. So, completed a mining station. Completed a research station. And we've completed the system survey up here. And we do have Continental World that is, interestingly, more habitable than a normal Continental World. Let's find out why. Okay, so we have habitability uh, modifier here because of atmospheric aphrodisiac. Interesting. Uh, but you have some ethics divergence, which I think ethics divergence is where we have population points that stop believing in the same kind of things like, uh, for instance, our uh, xenophile uh, fanatic material. So stop believing in that. 
least I think that's what that means. Okay, so we need to send you somewhere else. I hadn't really decided on where I was going to send you. And we might actually need you up to the front uh, because of things going on. But you know what? We'll just have you go over here and survey this system. Just to keep you busy. All right, so our fleet currently jumping to this system. Ooh, we've got an enemy fleet. Let's see what's going on. Is there a battle? Ooh, there might be. And that's a big fleet. So we probably want to get in there and help. So let's get our fleet in here. Might be too late to help. So far, I think the turtles are the only ones really engaging. Okay. Got a leveled up scientist. Fortunately, it's taking us quite a while to get there. We'll know once we jump into this Research system. Complete. All right, the combat is going on. Kind of hard to tell, but it looks like uh, our side is winning. Uh, maybe not. All right, so they escaped. All right, so wait, hold on. We got an en enemy presence in here. Uh, we might as well take it out while we're here. So you guys don't jump out just yet. I instead would like you to come over here and attack this fleet. And they're running for it, looks like. Hostile fleet engaged. Now, I didn't really want to attack their mining areas. I do want to attack this, though. Alright, it's too late. They've already engaged. Situation log updated. Alright, we gained another officer, so we, uh, Sklaragum. Uh, the commanding officer served with distinction during the recent enga uh, engagement. Okay, so we get an officer. Let's just hold on here. Let's take a look at that. We probably might even be over our leader allotment here. Oh, no, we've actually grown uh, in leader size. So right now, we've got... Did we not assign an admiral? I could have swore we assigned an admiral to our fleet. Is there currently not one? Yeah, right there. So why is it listed here but he's available? He's right there. As a matter of fact, that is not the guy that was supposed to be there. Alright, so this guy I think is the person we just got. He's got evasion and uh, ship upkeep. And then we've got Evasion, emergency FTL uh, damage, and sensor range. So, who should be in command of this fleet? Which we can't currently do anything about because we're in combat. Situation log updated. All right, hold on, you. I want this guy. Okay. Now you can come over here. Hostile fleet present. Alright, let's take a look at that. Oh, they're fighting out here. Looks like that's going to be a victory for my allies, though. And we have... Maybe some fleet presence over there. I'm just going to focus here on the star base. That way they will not be able to... Um, build more ships. And there comes an ally fleet. fleet engaged. And we're getting reinforcements here. Oop. Enemy fleet there. Oh, but that's the, uh... That's just, uh, the, uh... Neutral aliens. I mean, they're hostile, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Okay. There's a frontier outpost there. I do not want to blow that up because that would uh, be something that we would want to vassalize here. I'm 
Mostly, I just want to get rid of their ability to build Situation more stuff. Updated. I don't want to... Although, technically, we could be uh, capturing some of these things. All right. And they're working on that over there. I have a feeling that my allies might wipe out a lot of the stuff that these guys have. Let's go over to their capital. Kind of hang there. While our allies take care of the rest. Oh, we're lot using a lot of energy credits here. What's going on with that? Station maintenance, ship maintenance. Oh, uh, speaking of stations. Uh, this guy just built a spaceport and we want to get a solar panel network going on that. Uh, could be a lot of ship... Mostly it's station maintenance that's hurting us right now. Oh, and our colony is popped as well. Well, you know what we might do is just go into the contacts here and talk to one of our allies. Um, we'll talk to the uh, turtles here. We haven't done a trade deal with them. And we want energy credits from you, instant transfer. Okay, I just, uh, 100's fine for now. Give you some minerals. They'll keep us afloat for the meantime. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. All right, what do we got going? Trade deal was accepted. What do we have going on in here. These guys, I think, are doing fine, right? Let's go to uh, the capital here. And they do have a fleet. Smallish one. I think we're engaging though because situation log updated. There was something right there. All right, I'm gonna not be able to avoid this. I don't think so. We'll just come in here and engage. So they've got about 200 worth of strength. We should be able to take that. And they're running. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. All right. Come over here, take out their base station. Oh, fleet. Fleet engagement. Go help. They might try and run, but right now they're being engaged by our allies, which we want to help. Oop. Big battle going on. Here we go. Allies coming in to help. Situation log updated. All right. Let's come over here, finish off the spaceport so they can't reinforce. Now, I don't think we lost any ships, but we definitely have a bunch of ships that are damaged pretty badly. Hostile fleet engaged. All right, we're engaged. Small fleet, though. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. All right. Once we blow up the space station. Construction complete. All right. So the army is out. And this is probably a good point to put a cut in the video. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. This is Mouse Gunner, finding out.